We are at La Louvre in the Design District, 1400 Slocum. We have the honor and privilege of being with the owner of La Louvre, Anique McNally. How are you, Anique? Fine, David, thank you. You have such a, a great store. And thank it's, you. It, you know, for me to be here speaking with you, my Texas, Arkansas accent, <laughs> uh, the French doesn't come through too well. It's great. But, um, but I think we need to take a tour of yes. this store because it's so unique. Perfect. Well, we have a big space to go through so we can start when you wish. Great. We have a couple of mantles here that are very interesting. For instance, this one with the fleur de lis comes from a chateau. It's been taken out for some reason and we've acquired it. So uh, these are wonderful for new constructions. We have one here that's a Louis XV original period piece. Uh, that's a little bit rare. And uh, these are all out of very large properties in uh, France throughout the country. And, um, you know, these need passports to travel because obviously they are from their own period. And everything in the store is from France, is that correct? Everything is found in France, but I would say 90% of what we have is, in, is from France. So we will, however, find some Italian pieces, some Portuguese pieces. Um, you know, we don't do English really, we don't do much of German at all, but uh, mainly it's for France, yeah. Yeah, this one comes from the Burgundy area and it's the 13th century. So we're talking of a mantle that was installed in the 1200s something. And uh, definitely it's a chateau that was probably uh, deteriorating and they saved the mantle. And we've acquired it and it will go in some wonderful property here in the States most likely. So that's very unusual and if people appreciate all this is really truthfully a fabulous old per, you know a whole piece that can be mixed into modern too of course so we found this bookcase in the south of france and the elements which is all the facing of it the old pillars they are from the 18th century and therefore from that they built a bookcase behind to support it so we do buy a lot in the south of france and it's the old finish as you can see it's totally wonderful lots of character and um, we, we do find some pieces like this that are not fully old, but they, they look fabulous. Okay, this is a bit unusual, actually. This is a boiserie room. So we found this in Paris, uh, in the Raspail area of Paris. And uh, it was a lawyer who had this in his walls of his office and he was retiring. So we were approached to buy it. We dismantled it, brought it here, and we did this layout, but it could be because it's each panel different. It could have any uh, shape we want. Um, so it is a Louis XVI influence because of the reef carving. The doors, the painting above, these are all original to that uh, paneling. So um, that's unusual. Um, we can't find those. They're usually going for a fortune. Uh, we were lucky to put our hands on this one and uh, it's, uh, I think, maybe sold. Anique, are you trying to tell me that you have, this looks like you have a second floor. Are these, <laughs> <laughs> are these really stairs out of some uh, other uh, place in France? Yes, yes, again in the south of France. We got this in the south. It was a house that was going under major renovations. They uh, wanted to have a wider staircase, so we bought that spiral one. And what makes it unusual is all the metal. Usually it's a one bar as you go along this they have intricate metal work on this so I've never seen anything like this before and uh, traveling it from the south of France to Dallas was certainly an event and took almost the whole container so uh, no we don't have an upper floor but uh, somebody will <laughs> it'll work it'll work beautifully in someone's <laughs> it, house it one. will I think it will <laughs> This is pieces that are also coming from the south, a little bit north of the south of France, which they refer to as Provence. This is a work, uh, work piece that we call in France établi. So they've added the two shelves to support the wine bottles. It didn't exist originally, so it was just a press that they don't screw the press, put the items to work on, and they, so we, I think here in the States we call these workbenches. But they sell as a wine carriers, and uh, we can't bring enough. So they disappear very quickly, and they're intriguing, and uh, I guess they're going into wine cellars and kitchens. What a spectacular um, 
Is this plaster? What what would that be? This is plaster. Actually, it belonged to a chateau property and it was attached to their fireplace mantle. So whatever happened to the mantle, but uh, this we found, we brought it over. It is a Mireille, so it comes from the south of France. A Mireille is the person on the left, which is a young woman. Uh, we refer to them as Mireilles because they weren't married and they were keeping the uh, lamp in the, in the mountains or in the forest. So this is life-size, which is making it very unusual. It has sold. Uh, we are known here to bring a lot of unusual and, and pieces that are architectural, and this is one of them. It's probably the biggest we've ever owned, but uh, it's uh, magnificent with the dog and the sheep and the girls. So it's been sold to someone who's going to put it at the end of their dining room. So it's going to be spectacular to see when it's going to be installed. Anique, I'm so happy that I could stand in here and not have to spar with you in French because my French uh, doesn't compare with yours, believe me. <laughs> uh, but you're such a delight to be with. Thank you, David. Your store is beautiful. Thank you. Um, Thank I, you. I would have never dreamed <laughs> that you were in this business because I've known you for a while, as you yes. know. And, um, it's a well-kept secret. It, it? <laughs> it certainly is. But I, you know, I never knew you were such a merchant, and obviously you've done very, very well. The store is exciting. Uh, as you mentioned, you started with 900 square feet several years ago. Let's say three years ago. Yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> yeah. Right. And, and now I you wish. have, <laughs> and now you have a major, a major space, yeah. and down in the design district. Yeah. And uh, uh, what could be better? Uh, it's, it's. You know, it's a passion. If you start this, you never get out of the business. It's a passion. You can stop looking for things and finding the unusual, and and it grows on you. So that's for life when you're involved in the antique furniture. And I can tell by speaking that you just absolutely love it and you live it. It's part of your life. I do. I do. I enjoy it. Well, thanks for letting us into Thank your you, shop. David. You're just adorable. Thank you. <laughs>